Uh, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Patreon server playing some Feed the Beast Revelations. How are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. Last episode, we automated nether stars. I haven't done anything with it since. Matter of fact, this is just a couple hours after I recorded the last video. So this video, we're going to do what I planned on doing in the last video, which is automating some stuff and things that we haven't yet automated. Also, I don't know if I pointed out or not. If you'll notice, all the storage drawers are gone. I pulled everything out. Everything is now in digital storage. So there is, we have nothing here. Which is great. I, I I like the clean room look. We may do some some stuff here. I don't know yet. Uh, it's kind of hard to go back this way any farther because it is uh, kind of on the surface. So, but today we are going to work on automating uh, a couple different things. First thing, we're going to automate demon steel so we're going to need some nether rack I need a bucket and we're going to need a precision dropper which we just so happen to have we need a interface and I'm not sure what else we're going to need. We're going to go down here to our computer room and we're going to set this up back here-ish. Let's put that magnet up. And we're going to do this right here. So, as you can see, I have this. I've seen some spots on the map here, decided to check it out, and we've got water here. I'm not sure why... We are floating there. All right, anyway, so first things first is we need to set up where this is going to be. I hit the button too fast. So right there is where we are going to drop this at. So above this, we're going to put the precision dropper I think I may have put that in the wrong spot. Yeah, I did. I got step assist on these boots. And it's aggravating me. All right, there we go. So there is that. So we can go straight. I don't... We can go straight from the precision. Yeah. So we need our interface. And we want to change this to down. And that's going to put our items in our precision drop. Alright, so now we just need to run some cable and we're going to need, matter of fact, we can probably just run <clears throat> this all off of just this one, yeah. So let's do a piece of demon steel and we're also going to do flux while we're at it. 
So let's add these to our whitelist on this one. Now you can just set one of these up if you don't have it close to one of these. This has got about a 10 block radius. Um, so there's no sense of us hooking up another one of these to, to work with this. So let us get some conduit. And I'm hoping we've got... dense conduit on the bottom. Let's go ahead and run that <clears throat> over this way. Just to make sure that we've got enough channels. And I just double those. There we go. All right, so that should now be hooked up. So we need to make some patterns for these. Pretty easy to do. So for our flux we need a piece of redstone will equal one flux. It is 100% every time. So that is going to give us our flux. Now with the demon ingots. Uh, these are not a hundred percent. So when I do the recipe for these, I'll do two for one. Uh, you can always have extra in the system. It's all right. Um, so it's just kind of a precaution because if you do it and you you know you want two pieces and you got it one for one and you don't get the two pieces, you the craft will never finish. So that is kind of what I do with it. So let us throw this in here, this in here. Let us put our lava in here. And we should be good to go. So let's see, let's make one of those. Did that. No. Why did it... Where did it... Why did it pick that up? Let's seal this up. get some more in just a minute and let's try this again are you picking up? Well, I am not sure what is going on. It works this way. But you put them in here and it doesn't work. So we need to do some testing try something else but one thing I did do is I just threw my drill in there or yeah 
not my drill, my f my flux bore. Yeah, I just threw it in the. That sucks. Well, for some reason, it works with this with a normal dropper. So that's what we're going to roll with. But that has got to go. Good enough. All right, so laboratory blocks, let's clean this up. Let us get some clear glass. don't remember which glass it was that I used over there, but we're going to use this one. And there we go. So now that is done. And we can also do flux now. That should just work. And with all the glass and everything there, it'll keep it inside of that. And we're good to go. Alright, so our next bit of business is going to be this thing right here. Our atomic reconstructor. Oh, we got an unsightly spot. Those are tank walls. All right, we got a few of those. So I want to automate the atomic reconstructor, and for that we're going to need some oak wood for a pressure plate. We need our atomic reconstructor. We'll use our precision dropper this time. We're going to use a vacuum. Start using vacuum hoppers for this stuff. Probably need to go ahead and just make a recipe for that. Shouldn't take but just a minute to do. All right, and I think that's all we're going to need. We're going to set this up in here. This room over here is going to be for our empower. We're going to do our draconic fusion crafting in here, and we're going to set this thing up. So let us clean us out a hole here. It'd be nice if I had a little 3x3, three three, but I never made the attachments for this. I miss my bore already. Alright, so Atomic Reconstructor is going to go right there maybe. Yeah, because we want to put glass right here. So let's go one more back. Alright, so. Precision dropper. Right over that. 
we need our plug for this that's all nice and full we are going to need to put our we can put our vacuum hopper right here that should be it's more than enough room there even better all right so now all we need is an interface for this one Go ahead and craft a few of these up. All right, we got the one that we need. Put that going into there. That should allow that to fall down. Let us make this all nice and pretty. We got to run some cable in here. We should have cable here pretty close. Like I said, pretty close. I'm hoping that we've got enough channels off this one. Alright, so that is all nice, neat, and connected up. We're going to need a filter. We're going to need a bigger filter than what we have been using for this. We need one of these big item filters. And to do that, we've got to use... Our soap, nope. It's license splice. So we need some solarium, and I don't know if I've got any. I have two. We need a silicon. We need a skeleton skull and two zombie flesh. Beautiful. Got that. And there is our big item filter. Normal item filter gives us five slots, I think. We can look and see. Yeah, it gives us five. The big item filter gives us, oh, good lord, more than enough. Alright, so now I need to put recipes in for all of this. So, give me just a second to get all that together, and then I will be back. Alright, so we've got everything hooked up. We should have everything ready to go. And it didn't work. That's not what I wanted. I needed a redstone torch. Now let's try this again. It's 
cancel that. And it's not going to drop. Why must everything be difficult? Well, I just brain farted all over the place. Um, I compacted it down a little bit. This redstone pressure plate is controlling the dropper and the reconstructor. I didn't even have the hopper hooked up to the system, so it wasn't even putting the items back into it. So, yeah, everything should be golden now. So let's go let's do 10 of these as you see everything is working just fine so now here's a problem that I have I need to make We need to work on these display stands that are not there. These right here. I've got to make some quartz. So, I'm going to get the display stands and everything we need for the empowerer done. Uh, the empowerer itself is just a display stand, iron casings, and a double battery. All this stuff is easy enough for us to do. So I'm going to get all this stuff done, get what I need made for the empower or for the automation, and then I will be back. All right, so we're back. The way we're going to do this is with XNet. Uh, I have grown quite fond of this mod. Uh, it is pretty useful in automating different stuff and things. So basically, we need a controller. We are going to need a flux plug point. So this is going to need power. Power is not necessarily an issue for us anymore. So let's give this some power. That's going to fill up. All right, so now we need to place down a chest. This is going to be where we're going to get all the items from. And then we need to put connectors on everything. So we got a connector there, a connector to the chest, a connector to the controller, a connector here, there, there, and one there. All right, and then we've got cables. Got to give me some more room here. And have to go all the way down there, but it'll work. It's too far back. All right, now if we look at the controller, we should see everything that is attached to it. So the first thing we want to try to do is see it's something that I haven't done yet. So on our first channel here, we're going to create a energy channel. Now, is that that is not sending out any power yet? So we want to do this. We want to insert, insert. I'm hoping this is doing what I want it to do. And it is not.
Hmm. Well, let me do some messing. All right, I have got it figured out. We needed another connector added to our flux network. It doesn't pull power from the controller. It actually pulls from the network. So same thing we created. Matter of fact, we'll go ahead and redo this, and I'll show you from start to finish. All right, so we click on channel one. We got XNet Energy. We want to create a energy channel. So we want to click here, hit create. We're going to switch this to extract. It's our flux point. And then we just kind of go down the list. We want all these to be set to insert. And we're not going to change any of the rates as far as transfer rates until we make sure that what we got is either too high or too low. So boom, there we go. Now, I'm going to only set up one recipe with this. I've got to get uh, dyes and stuff like that. Oh, well, we come way out. And we missed it again. He's still just shooting. So, we want to get, let's do, I don't know, let's do diamonds. So we need to create a recipe for diamantine blocks. We're going to do all these in block form. So there's that. Now, to make in power diamantine. We are going to need clay, clay blocks, and light blue dye. Clay blocks we've got. We have plenty of them. We'll never use that many as it is. Light blue dye we do not have. So let us create a recipe for that and let's go ahead and get some out. And we need clay. Clay block. And that is our four items. And we're also going to need a diamantine block. Let us go ahead and craft one. Beautiful. So that is everything that we need for this. Alright, so the way this thing works. We want to set up a channel 2. We want to set up a item think. Let's try that. Alright, so we want... I had another coffin fit. So we're going to go from the chest. We want to create here. We want to extract. We're not going to tell this what to extract because we want it to extract all items. So... Now we're going to create this. This is going to be the empower itself. We want this set to insert and we're going to do that. That is going to put only the diamantine crystal block inside of the middle. And we create one here. We'll do clay create one here clay another one 
four clay blocks, and the last one, four light blue dye. Basically, it's the same thing with every single one of these. You want to put light the dye, or put your four items in each different one of these set to insert, and this one here set to insert. Now, we are also going to set up a final one here for extract. So I don't think we can do both. No. All right. So we're going to set up. This is going to be a item, and we're going to create it. We're going to click on this one and create, and we want to extract. Now, this channel here, we can use every um, for every single one. Let's place this here. Go clay block and our die. This should not, well, it may pull it out. No, it shouldn't because it's got nowhere to go. Those are all holding up with power pretty well. All right, so now we come down here with our block. We want it to extract only that. And we want this on this channel set to insert. So now if we do this again, Actually, before we do that, no, let's get rid of this channel. Let's add another, we're going to add another chest just to simplify things up just a bit. That's probably a little bit too simplified. But that's all right. We got a connector. All right, so this should have another chest. This one we want to create and we want to insert. So now this will insert, we'll pull this and put it into our uh, system. So, we need another interface. I know we made a few of them. Alright, so interface there. These may actually read interfaces, the XNet cables, I'm not sure. So we want to put that into there. We're going to extract, always active, and insert. And we want our conduits. Where is our cable at? Right there. So we could actually just run this straight. Right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All 
All right, that should be everything we need for it. So now let us create our pattern for it. So we want to make empowered diamond team. We need to craft one of these. One of those, two of these, a light blue die, alright so one diamantine, one clay, two clay, a light blue will give us all of that. Put that in there. And let's craft one of these. There we go. Everything went in the way it's supposed to. Now, suck it out, put it back in the system, and we're golden. Sorry about that. And it went back in the system. And there we go. So now, like I said, everything else is all run off of this. We can come back in here. Um, there's enough channels to do this. We can do a uh, set the next channel. Click channel 3. Choose item. Set it up the exact same way. Uh, just change these filters with whatever the next item is that you're using and then when you want to go to the extract just to put the empowered version of it in this one and you are good to go so I think that is it we have automated actually addition stuff I've got to finish doing the rest of the stuff, probably the only thing I'm going to do as far as die goes is just create a bunch of die and put it in the system. Uh, it's the easiest way of doing it. Um, so yeah, we did that. We automated Flux. We automated Demon Steel. We're good to go. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.